My life is in your hands. My life is in your hands. You took control when I was young, when I was not able. My life is in your hands. My life is in your hands. You took control. joining Inspired Blessings with Jim Marie Prince. And this is my part two of the uh, story with uh, Joe Fuchs and, and in which he had leukemia. So I hope you got a chance to catch the first part. So thank you again, Joe, Lorraine, Fuchs, husband and wife, as well as Pastor Cam, um, Colombo of Revelation Church. Thank you. Appreciate it. Awesome. Yeah, so it was very interesting. And I just saw that my time was up fast on my first part there <laughs> that I'm um, like, oh, OK, it was a good cliffhanger. So anyway, Lorraine, as you were sharing, um, so again, if you could just a little bit in the fact that you were with him at the um, doctor's appointment when he got yes. the news. Yes, and when I uh, went into the doctor's office, um, just to change things around a little bit, I um, addressed the doctor. And I said, um, is there anything that you would like a prayer for? So uh, we did. We ended up praying with her. And what did she ask for? And she, we prayed for her house mm -hmm. and for her cat and for her parents that live in Israel. Okay. How does it, that prayer, how does that scenario come about when you're actually dealing with ate that? Um... I do that all the time. Okay. It's just part of the way our lifestyle is. So was she kind of like surprised? She was like, totally Wait a minute. with it. <laughs> right. She said, yep. yes, by all means. I would love that. Mm -hmm. So we did. And... She got her house. Mm -hmm. Her and a cat was in good shape. Mm -hmm. She's and got two cats and, now. Yeah, now she has two cats. <laughs> okay. And, and um, but the thing was, it was just starting a relationship with her. Sure. And um, so with Joe, I said, you know, Joe, we're going to just hang in there. We're going to just see you right through. Mm -hmm. Power of God is so much greater than you can imagine. You know, there's people that are. Uh are told that they have a ter terminal illness. Mm -hmm. They don't know anything about the power of prayer. They don't mm -hmm. know about what Jesus did on the cross, that it's already been done. Mm -hmm. So they don't have maybe doctors giving the right direction. I mean, mm -hmm. I had my mother and my father-in-law both had cancer. I saw what chemo did and mm -hmm. what radiation did. Yeah. And to me, I, I, I feel like sometimes it seems to kill rather than give life, mm -hmm. you know, knowing that it kills the, the good cells along with mm -hmm. the bad. So I'm not a pro-chemo, pro-radiation, you right. know what I mean? I'm pro, you know, what Jesus could do with yeah. the healing. I mean, you don't Absolutely. have to go through any of that, and it's Absolutely. cheaper. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> no medical know. bills, you know. That's but true. what I'm saying is, is that I see a lot of people that they don't have hope, and they don't have faith mm -hmm. in Jesus Christ. And I, I, I think, oh my goodness, that they, they don't know. They don't know. Mm -hmm. So God had blessed me to actually write this inspiration, and, and it's based on that scenario mm -hmm. of, a, you know, any, somebody being told that they've got a terminal illness, and they really don't see a light at the end of the tunnel, mm -hmm. and because they have no faith. Mm -hmm. So if you don't mind, I'd just like to share this. It's called Passing On to the Unknown. Life has given you something it has never given you before, a terminal illness that you must deal with. Why is it that you were chosen? Only God knows. You may not realize that this could be a blessing to you. When people die instantly, they never get a chance to say goodbye to their loved ones or to think, or to, uh, think about their eternal fate. I wonder, are you afraid of passing on to the unknown? Well, maybe I could put your thoughts at ease. There is an afterlife that will be lived out through your spirit, and right now the world we live in is, is only our temporary home. You may have heard of many different paths to heaven, but the Bible tells us there is only one way, which is through Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who died for you and me on the cross and gave us life. You need to realize this doesn't happen automatically. God gave us free will, and we must choose to receive him. He tells us that to enter the kingdom of heaven, we must be born again, and then you will have entrance into his kingdom, which will offer you an eternal life of no more pain and no more sorrows, and a paradise you have never experienced before. 
So before you decide not to decide or ponder whether to believe or not to believe, realize that your time is getting shorter and you might have to pay the penalty for your unbelief with eternal damnation. So please pray and ask God to open your eyes to see the truth. And then John 3.15 is that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have eternal life. When I was writing, you know, the book that God blessed me to write is that it was always like, I want people to know the truth of Jesus Christ, you know, that mm -hmm. he is the only way. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I just think to myself, it's the people who do are told that they have a terminal illness, mm -hmm. you know, that, you know, without faith in Jesus Christ, they don't see any hope in anything. That's true. You know? That's yes. so well put. Thank you. You know, I, I saw myself there. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Right? And, but you have faith. You know what I mean? Right. So how did that change? Well, um, when I just had came here, I really didn't worry about it so much because my doctor said, well, let's see what happens. So it m makes mm -hmm. me think mm -hmm. it's no big deal. And then when the, the chemo thing came up, mm -hmm. I really thought about maybe I don't want to take this. Mm -hmm. I'll see what happens. And they told me I'd have a year or so. So things were getting... A year or so. So you really have... Yeah, a year but or so. If they, if they had put a stage, was stage four? Is that considered stage four? What would you say? I, I don't know. No, no. I, I, mm -hmm. You know, I started sure. to read about it on the internet, and it mm -hmm. just makes you crazy. Sure. Don't sure. do that. Sure. And so, I could. Well, I some could, of it is not true anyway. <laughs> but anyway, well, yeah. so true. <laughs> and um, I've been hearing about Pastor Cam's church, and right. two very good friends said, "You have to go there. You have right. to go there." Right. It was close to home. I mean, you know, it's. So we went there. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, I what saw, were you expecting before you go there? Before you were going there. Let me put it this way. Uh, it's a 50-50 chance. I'm betting now 50-50, which is pretty okay, good it's odds. It's going to work or pretty it's good, not going to work? Pretty good odds, right? right? Everybody's playing the lottery now. It's one in 10 zillion or something like that. <laughs> but this was, a, this was a very good bet. <laughs> okay. And I don't know. I, I've never been to a, a service like this. I've seen it on TV where everybody falls down and I said, oh, my God. You know, but mm -hmm. this was different. When we walked in, we knew half the people. Mm -hmm. right. And uh, I see guys getting prayed for, and some look like they're okay right away. Right. And I, he, he called me up. I went up there a few times, but this one time. Did he know you? No, this, never this, saw me before. Okay, so you go to the and church service. Versa. He doesn't know your situation. No. Well, the first time I went there, this wasn't, this is when, before the leukemia really was serious. Okay. He calls me up and he says, can I touch you? He puts his finger on my back. Mm -hmm. You have pain right there and you have so much heat. And so I'm standing there looking at those people, looking at me, I'm looking at him. But he was right. Mm -hmm. Is that where it started? Like, is it, with the leukemia? Is no, it no, this was body? different. Okay. I've done construction all my life. Okay. I have a bad back and bothers okay. me sometimes. But I would tell people, he knew what that pain was. Right. Say, hey, guys, you're aging, you know, they well, I have the left side and the right side and all these mm -hmm. vertebrae and everything. Mm -hmm. But he knew where it was. Okay. Okay, so it's pretty convincing. Mm -hmm. I didn't say anything about the leukemia because it, it was like mm -hmm. it's on a back burner. Right, right, right. Now when it And you on, don't want to put it out there in words. It, right. I was right. just Exactly. Sitting with my wife in the back, and he says, hey, why don't you come up here? Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting like this against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you remember, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah. when it was a little more serious, when, in, when I was, let's see, I was looking at... That was the breathing. The this was, asthma. there was other things, but the last week that I still had this curse on me, it was on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting in the back, he calls me up, and I'm telling him about the leukemia. And meanwhile, I'm watching these people fall down when he's praying with them. Mm -hmm. so, my goodness, they're falling down. They're not getting Yeah, up. I've gone to some of the, yes. I mean, uh -huh. right. Yeah, you have to be there, believe right. me. Right. And so I said, I'm not going to fall down like that. I know. That's I'm a tough okay. guy, you know. Some I, people are shy about that, yeah. myself so, included. And so I, I go up, and he uh, starts praying and he says, can I touch you? He puts his finger on my head and he's praying. 
and things were getting a little different. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what he was saying. Right. He wasn't talking to me. He was praying. Right. right. And was I, speaking in tongues. And next, you? no, he was. I don't think so. I don't remember. Did, it, was, it was just was, powerful Francais. I was like, Whoa, what's was going on? Accent. I was speaking to the spirit. Maybe it was French right, accent. Yeah. Yeah. I don't absolutely. know. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and so he's, as he's as he's talking. I'm feeling a little, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fall down. And uh, as I go, I'm walking backwards and I, f I fall down and two guys catch me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, and then I get right up, who well, I thought I did. Mm -hmm. It was like two weeks later, somebody told me, no. you didn't get up. I heard you were down for 15 minutes. You were down for 10 minutes. Somebody told me I was down for an hour. Wow. I swear, I felt like I just got up right away. And all I remember him is praying and as I'm going back to my seat, all I can remember is he said, leukemia, you're gone, you're gone. You don't have leukemia anymore, and leukemia's gone. Things to that effect, really loud. Yeah, you know what, is, is that Pastor Cam doesn't have fancy words, and Jesus didn't have fancy words either Thank when God. he was healing. They were fancy he, that day. <laughs> healing people, you know what I'm saying? No, but it's like cancer, be gone. That, Absolutely. You know, it's simple, simple. Right. Yeah, and you know what, he believes it when he says it. Yes. Absolutely, I'll tell you what. He's got a, this, this room, it's a big room, it's totally mm -hmm. packed of people that go to this church, people that just came in that door, people we know. And if I would have came back, say, two weeks later, after taking the chemo, because chemo is the next morning, don't forget. Mm -hmm. Half of my hair's falling out and you turn all, you know. It's past and nothing happened. Mm -hmm. But he had faith. And when he said that, I, I right away clicked in my head. The faith this man, I, and I have faith in, in him. The faith that he had to do that, take mm -hmm. that chance. Mm -hmm. I had no uh, request but to believe something's going to happen. And those words, you don't have chemo anymore. The next morning at 9:40, mm -hmm. when I saw my oncologist, she repeated, "You don't have chemo anymore." The cancer anymore. Right. Yeah. You, uh, you don't have uh, leukemia, 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 leukemia anymore. anymore. Wow. The well, yeah. same with the with the. Uh, Wow. Having uh, taken chemo is pretty, like, pretty much the same thing. Really, that fast? I mean, were, were you were you thinking? Did I hear that correctly? Did, did this really happen? Uh, you know, to this day, I I don't really feel like doing cartwheels or anything. I just still kind of numb about the whole thing, yeah. and right. it's just very it's, very different. What did they say? That out of body experience? Yeah, the whole thing. The whole thing after. Falling down in front of everybody, and the next morning, mm -hmm. I got slept a few hours. Went to see her, my oncologist. This is after going through a battery of tests the week before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, bone marrow tests, mm -hmm. all this stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's all for nothing because now I don't have any more. I had a prescription for the uh, to be filled, and they stopped the prescription. Now, what, is, what did you, your your uh, oncologist say? I mean, you know, because she knew you had it. And then you th she, well, <laughs> just like us, we're, we're talking, and so she goes over into the corner, and I, you know, there was playing with something. In my case, it's usually some kind of syringe, which I can't mm -hmm. stand. She takes it from his napkins, and she's dabbing her eyes, <laughs> and comes back. She was so affected by this, because mm -hmm. every time we come in there, we, we pray with her, mm -hmm. and it really was kind of surreal and when we left she spends a lot of time with us so I'm, mm -hmm. I'm leaving out so much you don't have enough right. film to do the whole thing right. as we leave that little room going to the hallway her whole entourage is out there they all work for her they're all out there their clipboards are holding whatever they are in it they're all saying congratulations congratulations they they came up to me they want to touch me they've never seen you don't see people like that yeah. No. When you work in a place like that, you see people coming in, all ages, all races, everything. Oh, it's got to be depressing working in, in a... Yeah. You know, they yeah. keep coming in, they get because worse and worse until one day they don't Because show one up. out of ten, you're lucky if one out, one out of ten even gets healed, you know. What's well, uh, yeah. a lot less than that. So, Lorraine, so kind of share when you heard, you were, I'm sure they are listening to the oncologist say, you don't have cancer anymore. She came over to me and hugged me, and she was crying. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I said, Doc, this sit reminds me of a miracle. She says, absolutely, this was a miracle, mm -hmm. a miracle. Right. And the, the most amazing thing was, 
we were going in there, it felt like dread was trying to knock on our door. Oh, yeah. Fear, mm -hmm. anxiety, money, they wanted, it was $15,000 right. wow. for 30 wow. pills in a month. Wow. 30 and pills. And the harm that it would have done you anyway, but. And right. when the insurance kicked in, it was $2,500. Wow. And then 800 thereafter. And mm -hmm. I know people that have been on this chemo for a number of years. Mm -hmm. And the thing that I saw was, it was, um, we left with no more sorrow. It was happiness and joy. Mm -hmm. We, the devil loves to steal, kill, kill and, and destroy. destroy. Mm -hmm. But Jesus came in to give us life and life abundantly. Mm -hmm. So the abundant life came in. Right, right. Peace came into mm -hmm. us. Favor of God on us right. as a couple that we saw the presence and the power of God overtake us instantaneously. Right. And his presence of healing that Joe wouldn't have, you know, the feeling that he was gonna die. Right. Because that was a big thing for him. And right. me too. Right. It was like so hard what we were going through. Sure. But yet I wasn't gonna speak it out. Mm -hmm. I was not gonna give any place for the devil right. to take right. authority over us in any way. Right, right, right. I uh, and Lorraine, I know you, you, and you know, we go to prayer, and so I know your faith is so strong, you know, and it inspires others. Because it's, he's always faithful. Yeah. Jesus and the Holy right. Spirit are so amazing. Right. He it wants was a dark us day in hell. to. Oh, I'm sure. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. you know what it is too, Jim Marie? I feel like his word is so true. Mm -hmm. And his power is so right. true. And I feel like a combination of the faith, the mm -hmm. healing power, right. his word, all in a combination comes together mm -hmm. in such a miraculous way. Right. But mm -hmm. you have to have people who are willing to take that leap of faith to say, okay, God is using me and I'm going to do this. And that's where Pastor Cam comes in. Absolutely. So Pastor Cam, did you bill them for the, uh, for the, <laughs> <laughs> like, for the healing? I'm not sure. I called them up. And you know the first thing? I called them up that, that night. You know what he said? What? It wasn't me, it was God. That's right. right. Well, you got, yeah. All yeah. That, that, that's God. called uh, a, God is in charge. a man after God's own heart yeah. you know, to God, give him the glory. God said, you know, just do it. Don't worry about the financials or anything like that. Yeah. Some people give something that you do not give. But God always gives. Right. So he's uh, mm -hmm. we but, cannot but you're not, you count on people. Right, but you not only help them with their medical bills, right. just their emotions, <laughs> what yes. they've had to go through the roller coaster of emotions, oh, yeah. Yeah. and the, the yeah. sickness and things like that. Can, can I experience. share something quickly? Sure. Years ago, there's a pastor from Connecticut, uh, a beautiful pastor, and uh, he's in charge of 23 churches. So he said, we need to invite you so you can uh, rekindle the fire, mm -hmm. you know, which was starting in 1800, 1900. So we go over there, and then we have a five days of revival there. Now, everybody gets healed, or a lot of people get healed, I should say, from uh, depressions. Mm -hmm. right. So There's at the end, a lot end, of depressions mm -hmm. at that time, this many years ago. So we go over there, uh, people get healed. So the pastor at the end, he's about to take the offering, you know, mm -hmm. and he say, remember, remember you get healed from uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars you know over 22 years and 20 yeah. years mm -hmm. so don't forget Pastor Cap you know said that mm -hmm. was a joke but uh, <laughs> and, and he said that I'm like oh my god mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway I want to I want to say that. So some people will So what, they just throw their credit card in there? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 they, 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 You know, you give them to the, uh, yeah. you know, this one I said to the people, I said, you know, you get healed, you know how much money you're going to save. Mm -hmm. uh, so make a donation to God, not to me, mm -hmm. make a donation and get, God will help you even more. So that's basically what I do. Mm -hmm. And that's what this ministry is about. So mm -hmm. we know that you've not only helped Joe with the, you know, with yeah. the healing of the leukemia. Yeah. Give us like some other healing. Um, oh, we, we had a tremendous healings over a period of uh, soon 30 years or maybe a little bit more. Uh, my, 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 first, my first miracle, if you can see that, what was uh, um, God was rebuking a demon mm -hmm. when my, my dad, I was preaching to my dad for many, many months, and he was like, my dad did not believe, he didn't want to hear mm -hmm. anything about God. So at that night he comes and he said, uh, he's sitting on, on, on the couch in my house, 
And then a man calls me and says, listen, uh, you don't know me. I say, but I'm going to commit suicide. I'm going to kill myself, mm. basically. I'm like, oh, no, you won't. Right, right. <laughs> That's what, that was my answer. And I said, I want you to come. I said to him, I don't, I don't know who he is. I said, well, I want you to come, uh, and then I will be ministering to you. So uh, he, he said, I'm a five or six subway station. I was living in the city at that point, at that time. So he comes over there, a guy, all blessed, and all in dark. And then my dad is sitting there. That day. Mm -hmm. I said, why don't you sit next to him? So, so he's sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> And all of a sudden, you start manifesting. You, I'm sure you understand that. Mm -hmm. He's he telling me names, and I say, in the name of Jesus, get out. You know, he Amen. gets up, and boom. As, as I'm saying that, so, my dad said to me, he said, so, as you prayed, something came out of me at the same time. What is it? Mm -hmm. Right. And I said, oh. what is it? Uh, I'm going to tell you what is it. So he got confirmed. He said, I saw a miracle today. So Praise God. We've we seen people heal. But, but literally about a thousand, about right, a thousand right. people. So today we have people like scoliosis. Mm -hmm. uh, we have people, uh, uh, severe scoliosis, 24 degrees, one. A cousin is going to be on the TV. Uh, we're going to film that soon. Uh, um, we're going to broadcast that on YouTube. Uh, and then the second one, a cousin, 38 degrees. Mm -hmm. Totally wow. healed. Wow. Wow. 38 that's, degrees, she was like, like right. this. Right. Uh, and now we heard about her, guess when? Two weeks ago, I'm like, oh, oh my God. Oh, Remember, I told you, we keep on yeah. hearing. Yeah. So we had that, we had, uh, I mean, you never, so, I, so I cannot. So how, how are you feeling? Because I'll tell you, some people would just kind of take it to their head and be like, wow, God is using me. Oh, yeah. Me, you know what yeah. I mean? But it's very difficult. It's very Let me explain to you. Uh, and I'm not bragging for my ministry or me or anything. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a, I believe I'm a miracle baby. Mm -hmm. uh, my parents couldn't have babies. Okay. They couldn't have kids. Uh, they had three or four, and they, they lost everybody. And then my mother, my grandmother, I, I've explained that in another show. She was a woman of God, a, a woman of faith, and a woman of miracles. Mm -hmm. uh, and she said, we need to pray. I, I want a, a grandson for my son, which happened to be my dad at that point. And then she prayed, and boom, I'm, uh, I'm being healed. Mm -hmm. And they call my second name, they call Savior which I hate the name, yeah. I hate it. Because that it almost feels like you're kind of uh, using God's name in vain. Right? Exactly, so I was like, oh my God. So anyway, to make a long story short, uh, then the Lord said to me, well, I'm, I'm about 20, I'm 27, he said, would you do miracle signs and wonders in my name? Mm -hmm. I'm like, you, you're kidding me, right? Uh, he said, no, 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 would you be willing to go and do mi miracle signs and wonders? I'm about 27, mm -hmm. uh, and then it's very humbling. It's very humbling because my life now, Instead of going that way, I'm going this way. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm originally from France. I explained in, in the, sh the other show. Uh, I, I lost basically my entire family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and so, well, my God, it's not about man. It's about you. It's not about you. No, it's not about me. But God has a way to humble you. So today, not 30 some years later, uh, God is doing a, a, an amazing work. And I know that I know that I know. I'm not taking this for granted. Because right. one more time. I'm not the healer. Right. The healer is Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Right. This is the healer. But he needs someone on earth, and I'm not. Right. I'm not right. saying I'm the only one. I'm not. He needs the tools. He needs the people to. He needs exactly. The people to so if right. yes, if yes to him, right. then he will use you. If he, someone else says yes, then he uses them. You know. Right. So that's basically where I'm about. Mm -hmm. And God said well, to me, I guess don't. you could kind of say, oh, that's pretty cool that God's using me to do this. You know, and th right. that's great. The fact that I'm changing people's lives and giving them a hope Amen. in the future. Amen. And I know better yeah, not to take the, the glory. Sure. Not to take the glory because I give life to, mm -hmm. to, to this brother. No. Well, no, no. I think if you did take the glory, yeah. God would take it away from you. Uh, it, be, you know exactly. What I'm exactly that. So, yeah. Lord, all the glory goes to you. Absolutely. And then, but the Lord said, the one who served my father, mm -hmm. that one I will honor. This is right. Jesus Christ mm -hmm. who said that. Right. So He honors me and Amen. look at me here. And, um, he honors me his own way. So now, what made you all of a sudden, in addition to your church services, to really have a healing ministry? Like, well, we we started with the healing ministry. I, I was going all over the place, all over the country, mm -hmm. uh, as a healing minister, mm -hmm. if you can say that. It's more like deliverance slash healing. But about I told you, 2011 or something like that. God said to me, he said, I "Want you to start a church?" I'm like, a church. 
Mm-hmm. Why? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so uh, you say, start a church. So I, I, I did start a church while I'm doing the ministry mm-hmm. of healing, you know, okay. all over the place. All right, so the healing ministry came first. Yes, it came mm-hmm. first. Uh, we went all over the place. People okay. get healed everywhere uh, mm-hmm. to, to, uh, to God all the way again. Uh, but you say, I want you to start a church. I'm like, they are beautiful right. church, right. Smith and right. Gaspol. This is right. my right. church used to come. Mm-hmm. Uh, beautiful uh, sun, church on the sun is beautiful. The, the harbor is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Everything is. He said, no, no, no. He said, I want you to start your own church. You will be ministering there. I'm like, oh, my gosh. So and that's what we did. Mm-hmm. It, it, we small at this point. Um, yeah, but it's, it is starting to grow, though. Oh, I've yeah. noticed that. It, it's, it's growing, and, and then uh, to me, it's like uh, I, I cannot believe we, we're still in the church today mm-hmm. right. because, uh, you know, but, but it is God's will to do it. How can people find out about your healing uh, services? How do they find out? No, no, no. How can they find out about it? Or can, or can they, uh, can well, you can go into Facebook, mm-hmm. Facebook uh, Revelation Church NY. Mm-hmm. That's the number one. And then you can go to revelationchurchny.com. That's the website, and you can find out about the healings up there. Yeah, so pretty much you're saying it's the second and the fourth week of the month. Right. That is on Sunday night. On that Sunday is night, a concentrated. So like 7 o'clock, 7.30? Uh, uh, 7 o'clock, but you have to come early. Yes. <laughs> this is like a little advice for you guys. Yes, uh, absolutely. Come early. So I'm going to have to wrap this up soon, but Joe, kind of share in the fact that now, you know, how long has it been that you had gotten that you no longer have cancer? Uh, it's been a, been a blur. Like a month or so, okay. Maybe about a month or so, and, and it's, everything's yeah. holding. Yeah. So we got a short. Uh, so just really fast. So what are you thinking today? In the fact that wow, 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 wow. Mm. Well, I try to pay back by witnessing to people, tell them what happened to me, and I saw the pastor out in the waiting room. I said, I need more cards mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. give to people of his. People want to know exactly what happened, mm-hmm. and. Uh, and people. it's not even so much, can I say, it's not even so much like you want to pay back, but it's just because you're excited that you want to tell people about exactly. it. Of course. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know about excited, but uh, no. I, I owe something. <laughs> I owe, I owe something. <laughs> do that. Can you do me a favor and do oh, that yeah. wheel? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we all I, are. I owe. Yes, I don't of course. Him. I, I do, but I owe right, but, from my... Yeah, right, but you I'm understand that Jesus... Chemo. I am right, totally Right, but Jesus does things without expecting anything back. But of course, the fact that your faithfulness to believe, and now you want to share that belief and tell others yeah. about Absolutely. the healing ministry. Sure. Mm-hmm. You know, because the fact that and you don't want... I bump into. You don't want people to go through what you know what they're going to go through, Absolutely. and they may not even survive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and right. to have that hefty bill and, and be nauseous and sick and everything else, and to yes. know that you didn't have to go through that, why would you right. want to? I mean, that'd be selfish if you can't yourself. Happen, it doesn't happen often. Right. So thank you so much for being my guest. Thank, thank you very much. I appreciate it. It was nice thank to meet you, Jim. Really but, great. Um, yeah, thank you so much for joining us today. And if you want more information about the CD albums, the book, also the online fundraiser. Oh, by the way, I was also would love to do speaking engagements if your church ministry is looking. Um, and you can t- find out more information on my website at gmarieprince.com. Along with the fact that if you can like my Facebook page, Inspire Blessings, and this way, if you like it, you'll be able to see all the different updates and the interviews. And if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel, when you miss, think you're going to miss a show, you don't have to because when it's uploaded, you'll be able to watch it. So uh, thank you so much uh, for joining us. And keep Inspire Blessings within arm's reach to help give us comfort when others are at a loss for words. Thank you, and God bless. Photograph prints, Jimmy Prince greeting cards and speaking engagements, jimmyprince.com, as well as Facebook page, Inspire Blessings for updates, and CD Baby to listen to the songs. Thank you and God bless. For more information on Inspire Blessings, to accept and receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, please say this prayer. I know that I am a sinner who needs forgiveness. Jesus, please forgive me for all my sins and purify me. I know that you died and rose again to pay for my sins. I need you to be my Lord and Savior for the rest of my life. Thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. With man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. My life is in your hands. 
My life is in your hands. You took control when I was young. When I. 